standard 11 chemistry unit 3 classification of elements and periodicity in properties in this unit we learn about periodic table classification of elements into SPDF blocks and their main characteristics and the properties of atoms like atomic radii, ionic radii, ionization enthalpy, electron gain enthalpy, electronegativity and valence of elements. Before that let's see about the basic idea about properties of matter. They are classified into physical properties, and chemical properties. First of all, let's see about physical properties. For example, color, texture, order of the substance, melting point, boiling point, density, appearance these all are physical properties the physical properties can be measured or observed without changing composition of matter okay physical properties this can be measured or observed like color density appearance boiling point melting point order texture etc and then after chemical properties for example flammability of the substance that means here ability to catch fire ability to catch fire toxicity that means ability to be poisonous heat of combustion reactivity with water reactivity with acid oxidation here combination with oxygen these all are chemical properties these chemical properties are characteristics that determine how it will react with other substance or change from one substance to the another substance 
The chemical properties are characteristics. Chemical properties are characteristics that determine how it will react with other substance or change from one substance to another substance. So basically this properties uh, depends on the electronic configuration of atoms of elements. For example here sodium metal suppose why it is classified or termed as metal it is shiny in appearance that is its physical properties but its reactivity towards the water is very high that is its chemical properties so there are one in 118 elements 118 elements 94 elements are naturally occurred so these 118 elements are classified into various blocks like s p d f block so first of all let's see the basic idea about periodic table and periodic law modern periodic law the physical and the physical and chemical properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic numbers that means here the elements are arranged in periodic table elements are arranged in periodic table according to their atomic numbers this is very most important there are 118 elements 94 elements are naturally occurred and rest of the elements are synthetic that means they are 
prepared in lab so first of all let's see atomic number this concept we have already learned in chap chapter 2 atomic number is denoted by capital Z here total number of proton a nucleus of atom that is atomic number or total number of electron in neutral atom for example sodium its atomic number that is 11 number of protons are 11 and number of electrons are 11 so positive charge positive charge of the nucleus is due to proton and negative charge is due to electron and its electronic configuration here for sodium 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 so according to the electronic configuration of atoms it is classified into either metals non metals or metalloids these all properties are depends on the on particular electronic configuration of the atoms so periodic law is essentially consequence of periodic variation in electronic configuration which is indeed determine the physical and chemical properties and their chemical properties of elements and their compounds in short here all the atoms has different electronic configuration for example here suppose hydrogen its electronic configuration is 1s1 but for argon its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 
3 s 2 and 3 p 6 here the electronic configuration is different and according to this their physical and chemical properties are also different the periodic law is essential consequence of periodic variation in electronic configuration which is determine the physical and chemical properties of elements and their compound okay friends so next time we will discuss periodic table thank you very much